All right, welcome back everyone to another cigar review. My name is John, aka Cigar Alchemist, and tonight I am excited to be showcasing and reviewing for you the SP1014 Entra by Sanj Freaking Patel. All right, so you all already know how we feel about Sanj and his blends. I don't need to repeat it. Love the guy, love his stuff. Uh, this Entra is a special release, so this is named after Sanj's late daughter. And this really cool looking band right here, these colors are meant to represent the colors for SIDS. And so I believe all of the profit, the proceeds from the cigar are actually going to A or the SIDS Foundation um, and are gonna be donated. So very cool mission and a really heartfelt, meaningful story behind the cigar. I'm gonna show y'all a close up of this thing while I walk you through the specs on it. So this is a seven by 43 Lancero. Uh, that is about as big a ring gauge as you get for a Lancero. It's a very unique size. These are all undisclosed tobaccos. So we do know that there are seven different tobaccos in here. We do know that they have a lot of age on them. In fact, Sanj goes as far as to get certificates proving their age from his factories. This was blended by and in partnership with Eladio Diaz. I do wanna say this is an absolutely beautiful cigar, beautiful band. I love the colors representing SIDS with that typical SB1014 logo. The secondary Entra band. You have the Eladio Diaz and Sanj Patel on the back of the primary band. Typical medium brown, toffee colored wrapper. You also have a closed foot like a lot of Sanja's cigars, and you also have this pigtail cap. But overall, a beautiful presenting cigar that I'm really excited to smoke. All right, I will say real quick while we're about to get lit up here, um, I'm not a big person on, you know, smelling the cigar and cold draw and all that. I gotta tell y'all though, man, when you smell this thing, the floral notes off of it are so pungent. I mean, and in such a good way, it is incredibly floral to smell this thing. So um, definitely expecting that to probably come through on the smoke, just given how strong that floral note is coming off of this wrapper. All right, with this pigtail, I'm just gonna rip this off. No cutter needed. Sanj, I brought out the soft flame. It's a Bic, so, you know, going a, a little ratchet here. Um, <laughs> But I'm going to do this in honor of you, man. Soft flame. All right, y'all, just a few puffs in. Main notes on the palette, it's leather and it's oak. So yeah, very leather forward so far. And then just a touch of just white pepper through the retrohale, but not super peppery at all. Um, but yeah, very much robust with the leather and oak. Let's see how this thing develops in the first third. I'll see y'all there. All right, there's that Sanj Patel, Eladio Diaz construction. Can always count on that man with their cigars. Um, Construction wise, it's great. The draw is just a little bit tight. So I cut, decided to cut a little bit of the cap. That helped a bit, but it's it's a little tight, but it's not at all, you know, hampering the experience so far at least. Flavor wise, this is a really interesting cigar, man. So Sanj and Matt and Michael all said this, they got some kind of raspberry note. Um, I'm not getting raspberry for me. <laughs> it's gonna sound weird, y'all. For me, it's almost like a grapefruit. For me, there's a little. It's a little bit too citrusy for me to say it's like a raspberry. For me, it's it's in my palate at least. Every palate's different. It's like it's like grapefruit, man. It's like this bright fruitiness with a little bit of that citrus kind of sour bite to it. Um, it's fascinating, man. I've never had a cigar with grapefruit, so yeah, I'm not one for crazy flavors typically, but it's what I'm getting. Roasted coffee is underneath that. 
there's still a slight touch of that leather decent tobacco core like there's just kind of a medium tobacco core and just kind of a nice subtle sweetness underneath everything else but it is overwhelmingly this kind of grapefruit fruity sweetness and it's a little bit even drying to the palate which also reminds me of grapefruit as well so that's what i'm getting uh yeah it's interesting it's good we'll see how it continues to develop in the second third i'll see y'all there all right y'all we're through the end of the second third with this entre from Sanj patel great burn line and construction draw still a bit tight but it hasn't gotten worse it's been fine uh, flavor wise man, this is one of the most interesting cigars i've had in a long time uh, and it's good yeah main note on the palate it's that grapefruit um, for me it's a very very fruity cigar very fruit forward i mean probably the most fruit forward cigar i think i've ever had actually Behind that, there's still a nice roasted coffee. I'm also getting like a, almost like a wheat grain or cereal grain kind of earthiness too. Like that's very prominent behind the fruitiness. There's some baking spices now going on on the palate a little bit through the retrohale. And there's just a nice subtle sweetness underneath everything. It's just like a nice tobacco sweetness. But yeah, very much that grapefruit forward flavor and then maybe just a touch of leather and there's kind of a, a leathery characteristic to the smoke as well so uh yeah i'm enjoying it let's see how it finishes out in the final third i'll see you there all right y'all we're at the end of this sb 1014 entre great construction draws loosened up a little bit here towards the end which tends to happen um with cigars towards the end if they have a little bit of a tight draw so i'm happy to see that happen flavor wise not too much change um so still getting that nice just citrusy fruitiness you know at the forefront of the palate the only thing that I would say is like a significant change is there's kind of just a nice mellow creaminess that's come about in the final third i'm really enjoying it i would actually also say the earthiness is kind of coming a bit more forward. So that kind of just grainy earthiness. Um, and then just like with a little bit of the leather and there's a little bit of woodiness coming forward. So it's kind of just a generic wood coming about here at the end. And then there's just a little bit of spiciness on the palate. So that's it in terms of the smoke. I'm going to switch things up a bit i'm going to actually give you all my final rating first and then i'm going to go into why it got that rating so overall this was a medium strength medium bodied cigar for me maybe medium plus in body and to give it a final rating i am rating the sp 1014 entre by sanj patel a recommended rating i enjoyed this cigar i had a very unique flavor profile one that i quite honestly have never experienced i've never had such a fruit flavored such a fruit forward cigar um the only thing I'm, i was kind of looking for was just a little bit of balance um underneath that fruitiness that fruitiness was really overpowering and it was good it was enjoyable it was unique um but to get in kind of that higher ranking category i was looking for just a little bit more complexity underneath it um but overall i really enjoyed the cigar it's a long burn y'all by the way like this is a it's a slow burner it's very well constructed it's well packed i mean we all know Sanj patel quality control they weigh every cigar to make sure that it's a certain weight um, for his standards and obviously like i mentioned before it's a great cause behind this thing and it's a really unique size and just overall experience also on that note thank you Sanj, for sending this one to me man i really always appreciate it love what you're doing all the time man so um very thankful i got to try this entre that's it for me tonight y'all i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please consider commenting liking and subscribing it really does help support me in the channel also you can support me through patreon and i am finally starting my monthly giveaways so there's two levels the three dollar level gets you one entry into the giveaway and the five dollar level gives you two entries into the giveaway both give you access to my private discord community which has already been a ton of fun so check it out in the description
Other than that, don't miss our next infamous smoke show live stream with all the new wave fellas. We do them every two weeks and you can find it at infamous smoke show. I appreciate y'all joining me tonight and I'll see you next time.